So, welcome to Quantum Healing with Candace. And today is the 27th of July, 2017. And here in a moment, I'm going to be talking with my really good friend, Heather Alice Shea. But first, I want to thank N5D.com and my good friend, Greg Prescott, for making this show possible. And hey, if you've never met me before, my name is Candace Craw Goldman. And I am a past life regressionist, a consciousness explorer. I used to work with the late, great Dolores Cannon. I still run a support group for quantum healers and a brand new directory for healers of all kinds at quantumhealingpractitioners.com. <laughs> and my good friend Heather is listed in that directory along with hundreds of other amazing healers. And Heather Alice Shea is a high vibe expert and intuitive guide and coach, particularly for healers. And we met when we were both with Dolores in Arkansas many years ago. And we've been friends from the moment we laid eyes on each other. And I want to welcome Heather Alice Shea. Welcome to the show, Heather. Thanks for having me, Candice. And hey, everyone listening, it's an honor to be here. I am so excited to talk about all of the yummy conversations and topics we're going to have today. So thanks for having me. That's great. You know, Heather's going to be one of our featured speakers down at the Sarasota event that Michelle Walling and I are sponsoring and uh, putting on down there in October. And we're talking to all of our speakers who are coming. And Heather, of course, is one of them. And so we're going to mm -hmm. see what Heather's been up to. And Heather, you know, you and I have tried to get together and talk since like the first of this year, haven't we? <laughs> yes. Scheduling and time. And, time and, so, yeah. <laughs> and every time we do, it's like, well, it's not going to work. And I mean, we've been doing that since January. This is like our catch up of the year, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Today was always meant to be the day. So it's great to, it's great to be here now. <laughs> So tell us what's new in the world of a higher self and intuitive guide and high vibing it. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, so 2017, I, I don't know. For, so for all of you listening or, or watching, it would be, if you're watching live, maybe, I don't know if there's a comment box on Facebook, Candice. Is that well, there, there is. There's a little bit of a delay. You can watch it. Um, how, uh, we do have a question and answer okay. box on the Zoom. But um, yes, you can watch, if you can manage many screens, you can watch some questions coming live on Facebook. Yeah, so maybe if, you're, if you guys are watching this, even though there's a delay, I would actually love to hear, um, and if you're listening to it, then shoot us an email, shoot Candace an email, but I would love to hear from you guys what your experience of the energy of 2017 has been like. So for me, this year has been, talk about lightning speed time. My whole sense of time has just been, off the just out of this world off the chain i was telling my husband i'm like like a month is a day like a month goes by and i feel like it's a day that's gone by <laughs> so um and my husband's like well babe time flies when you're having fun so so really this year for me um has been all about stepping forward to help other healers really embrace their own intuitive abilities, their own divine, like God given, right? Like we all have these intuitive and, and psychic abilities that we receive when we're in alignment and connection with our higher self. So my area of interest and total passion, and I believe the reason why time is flying so fast is I'm spending, you know, a lot of my, my energy and my time in that zone of really helping other healers establish a rock solid alignment to their own higher self, right? Like getting that conversation, turning it into a two way street, right? Because I mean, Candace, you know, you are one of the most connected human beings I know on this planet, right? Like you are dialed in and, and I, and even in your sessions, right? Like you'll be in, in your session with your clients, you know, it's maybe the SC portion of the session or they're in the past life and you can hear your own guide speaking to you. Your own higher self will bring forward that tip on what you should do next. Or maybe this is what you should say, right? To help you facilitate that healing in your client. So my passion is helping people get that voice. Like let's take that voice and turn it up. And, and not only that, but turn it into a two way street where we can really start working together with spirit to help people um, facilitate greater healing. So this year I launched my signature. Uh, it's called Become an Intuitive Coach Program. So I'm helping other healers really hone and own their intuitive abilities and apply them in their work, right? How to really use them 
in conjunction with whatever modality that they're using, right? So you know how it is. You've probably got, you know, you, you know the, the healers that we, we've all got like 10 certifications and a thousand different healing, you know, modalities. So this is really about saying, okay, great. Th these are all the tools and skill sets you've got. Let's take and put an umbrella or a foundation, however you want to put it, over all of these uh, tools that you have and bring them all under that umbrella of alignment with your, your higher self. So it has been incredible and really miraculous to see people stepping up and really owning their, I would use, I'm going to use the word right, like their right to be the healer that they're born to be, to stop playing small, to stop feeling weird about it, you know, <laughs> to stop being like, oh, well, you know, I do energy work. It's like, no, man, I do. I, man, you should see the results my clients get. And, and this works faster and better than a lot of other mainstream ways that we know out there, you know, help people heal. So it's just been really awesome and I've been enjoying it a lot. So. Hey, Heather, you know, you've been talking about healers, but you and I, before the call, we were talking about the fact that we are all healers and you don't have to have a, a business or even hang out a little mm -hmm. shingle to know that you as a human have the birthright of being a healer. So you can figure out and use some of these tools in your own life, not only for your own personal self, but for your family or just people that you're around. I love the way that you talked about it earlier about each one of us having a very unique um, place and a, a play in the world. How did you say that? Yeah, so I thank you for bringing that up. I really believe that the first, and, and, and maybe I'll just kind of apply it to my own life. I, I see it so very clearly that being a healer isn't something that I do. It's something I am. So yeah, I, I do intuitive coaching, right? People come to me and I, I have my sessions and I tap in and I, you know, I do my thing and that's my quote business, right? And quote, that makes me a healer. But the truth is this, th being a healer is something you are. It begins on the inside first. And I would hotly contend that my ability to be effective as a professional healer is directly correlated with who I am in my personal life, just as a human in this world with no, you don't have to have a business. It's not about that label or even getting out there and necessarily doing anything with it. It really does just start with being the light that you are and allowing your full potential to express through you. And then however you choose to express it, well, if you want to hang a shingle, great. If you want to launch an empire, awesome. If you just want to do spirit circles with your friends and do a, host a local meetup group, killer. Like however you choose to go out there and apply it, that, that's like the sky's the limit, right? But it really does, and I, I, I absolutely believe we are all healers. That's what we're here to do. We're here, we're here to heal ourselves first, right? We work on ourselves um, and then also help other people along. And I believe that the, the fastest and best and most authentic and most fun, 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 fun way to do that <laughs> Because I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I'm here to have fun. I want my life to be like a roller coaster ride. I came down here to party, you know, eat good food, be around awesome people, and do awesome stuff. So um, for me, that comes into my life through higher through higher self work. And Candace, you know, that's how we we met through uh, Dolores Cannon's. Um, you know, I'm so grateful to her to bring forward the concept of you know she called it the subconscious, but you know, basically the concept of higher self, it's you with you. It's, it's us returning back to the truth of who we really are. And that alone makes us healers. So yeah, it's, um, if there's something in this for everyone, if you're interested in living your life with an inner focus from the inside out, you will absolutely love, you know, everything we're going to talk about on this radio show and the conference in Sarasota um, in October, it's, um, there really, really is something for every person here. So, you know, um, Heather, what I'd like to, to talk to you a little bit and have you 
you tell us what your experience has been is something that has happened this year. I know a lot of us are talking about this year, this big year of 2017. You know, just last week I had a wonderful friend and colleague, a lovely Alice Mixer, come spend some, uh, some time with me and we swapped sessions. Everything changed in my life after, and, and it wasn't like there was things like wrong or bad or even concerning going on in my life. But spending time with her, everything turned up an octave. It was a consciousness shifting event. Just spending time with my good friend, with she brought her energy, combined it with my energy. Suddenly the energy I had to even have my session yesterday was something unique and bigger than it's ever been before. And I've been doing this work for 10 years. And so that's why we're talking about this idea of coming to Sarasota or even having your little meetup group in yep. your area of the world. You will absorb and grow your own energy. My gosh, my face is buzzing as I'm saying this. My, my own vibes are really up there saying it. Coming together with people like this, all of whom are excited about this way of not only just healing work, but just what's happening with the world, that benefits all of us. And you take that home with you. I would, it's, it's funny that you say that. I love, you know, conversations just like they go in circles and they connect. It's so cool. I love what you just said. Um, that has been a huge theme for me too in 2017 is connectedness. It is about relationships and being around, I mean, in physical proximity, right? Coming together. And what I have found with that is we can do it. We can do it the hard way or we can do it the easy way. You can come and spend, if, you know, like you're saying with your friend, you guys swap sessions. You can come to an event like the one in Sarasota or get in relationship with healers who, who you resonate with, who other like-minded people who resonate. And you can overcome what, what, what might take you six months in your own life, a year, maybe years, man, like crazy pants, like crazy pants. I mean, I think we should probably share client stories. Like I see it in my one-on-ones, people that have, that have spent 40, 50, their whole lives, their entire lives. I mean, and that, that's not hyperbole. Really think about that one human soul and suffering for a lifetime. And then when they enter into relationship and get around, spend time in the energy that is created when we all come together, right? It's just miraculous. It's, it literally is not something that you can articulate. How can we even, it's hard to even describe other than to just say, yes, it happens. And, and, and accept that and receive that it is now possible to go and have a session or come to a conference and be with people that are of like mind and truly release the stuff that has held you back, that has kept you small, that has made you, you know, be in self doubt, that's kept that, let that inner critic run your life that's kept you, you know, thinking about those same old tired stories that you just wish you could get over. It really is possible. And that's why I'm so, first of all, personally, I'm excited to go to Sarasota. Like I'm ready to receive healing myself. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like just as a person, I'm like, woohoo. Um, and I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited to receive from other people, right. And learn and, and soak in that energy and also share you know, my voice and my gifts. And, and again, you know, we are all healers and that's what this event is about, is about. So thank you so much for letting me come. I'm <laughs> glad. Oh my goodness. You were at the top of my list when Michelle and I were talking about getting, getting this event going and I cannot wait to hug your neck again. That's the I Southern know. way, right? Mm -hmm. So you were talking about client stories. Um, you've got, got a good one. Any, any fun story to tell? Yeah, so I've got actually two recent ones um, that I'd like to share. One is in the vein of, as, as a healer, again, whether you have a business or not, it doesn't matter. We're talking about your beingness and who you are in the world. Um, one of the things that I've learned in being a light worker and being a person who's sharing is know that you know, even though you don't know. <laughs> Know that you know, even though you don't know, put yourself out there into the world and just allow yourself to be surprised with the wisdom that you have to offer. So here's an example. So um, how, for those of you who um, don't know me or, or how I work, basically I'm an, an intuitive life coach. So I have the ability to uh, hear, see, and perceive and sense 
um, a person's energy field. So it may, basically works through an empathic pathway. I can feel people's feelings and feel what it feels like to be them. And I also have the ability to talk and listen directly and communicate directly with a person's spirit guides and higher self. So when I start my sessions um, with people that I've never had one before, they give me no information. I'm not, this is a cold read, no question, nothing. I just tap in and see what comes up. So here's what I mean by know that you know, even though you don't know. It takes, <laughs> it takes so much courage as healers for us to put ourselves out there. You know, there's so much, and I've been doing this professionally for four years, and I still walk into those sessions nervous sometimes because I'm like, you know, to my higher self, I'm like, guys, I don't, I don't, how am I going to do this? I don't know. And I always hear, know that you know, even though you don't know. So I, I tap in. I'm sitting there and I just open up. I become like this Blake slate and I just pay attention to what I feel, right? So I'm sitting there and I'll be damned if the only thing I could see or sense was this color yellow. All I could see was yellow. And I'm like, no, nah, that's stupid. Trying to get, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm like, whatever. Like I'm, to, I'm trying to like get it out of my field, right? Like, oh, that's not, I don't get that. You know, that's just my mind filling it in or whatever. So um, it comes back yellow, 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 yellow. So I said, and then I felt ocean and war, all of this other information came in. So I say to my client, I said, um, I have no idea why they're coming. I don't know what their issue, you know, what her problem was or anything. And I said, gosh, you know, um, the only thing I can see is this rather hideous color yellow. The <laughs> woman start, and I'm like, and I don't know what that means. The woman starts bawling. I mean, just losing it. The reason why she had booked a session was her one and a half year old daughter had died and her husband within a period of like eight months or something. I mean, it was very close. And she had, you know, is a person who understands that, you know, energy, life after death, and, you know, we have spirits and, and, and we move on and our souls are with us forever. And she, her sadness was so great that she couldn't move forward and she couldn't, you know, receive any communication from them. So she was booking a session with me to see, you know, what spirit had to say. Now, had I not just gone with letting myself feel it, right? Like we all have those moments when we want to kind of hold back or, you know, maybe not, maybe not step into our gift or what's, or honor even what's coming up for us because we're afraid it might be wrong or we're afraid people might think we're crazy or we're, you know, we're afraid we won't be good enough or, or what we have to offer won't help enough that we censor ourselves, you know, so, but when I said it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that is exactly the color yellow. That was it. That's, that is what she needed. And then of course the session went on and a lot more crazy, crazy pants, crazy pants, you know, <laughs> hits came in. But I think it's a beautiful story in know that, you know, even when you don't know, I didn't know that the color yellow was exactly what that woman needed, but I stepped forward and trust trusting myself, trusting my guides, trusting spirit, trusting her, you know, trusting that it would be okay. Right. So, and you know, and you and I talked about this before we got on the call that, and I get so on, this is my hobby horse. I love to rock on. That is the power of this work with aligning with higher self or whatever you're using this energy work. Where could, a, where could she go to get that information? I mean, certainly nowhere in the mainstream world, right? <laughs> This, right? like, yeah, I mean, where are you going to go? Like, you know, you're not like it, it. So, and it's like this in one, one session, it's like, boom. Okay. I can dump, I can, I can put this burden down, you know, I can put this burden down and move on with my life. That is the beauty of us coming together and stepping into that space as healers, helping each other heal. Um, so that, yeah, so that one, it's know that you know, even though you don't know. Um, and then I think my second story speaks to how quickly a person can heal, like how fast how we were saying like time is just speeding up. And when we come together in relationship and, and make that commitment to come together, it's just insane. I had a client earlier this year um, with uh, OCD, um, really bad OCD, couldn't leave the house, couldn't cook, like couldn't even leave actually even her bedroom terrible physical illnesses. I mean, I could, it would take me forever to go through this person's entire story, but it was bad. Like by the time she, you know, this individual made it to me. Um, 
so within, I would say maybe over about six sessions, her life went from like, I can't leave my bedroom. I haven't had a job in, you know, six years to, you know, living on the other side of the country with her dream job. Um, you know, everything in a relationship, like everything that she wanted, everything that seems so far out of reach, just through alignment with her, just through doing this work, getting in, in alignment with your own higher self, looking into, and I did some past life work with this person as well. Um, it, you know, her entire life is different. It's like, okay, boom. It's, it really can be that fast and that easy and fun. It doesn't have to be this big arduous thing that we've done before, right? Like it, we can actually do this through relationship and in a way that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So that is my wish, I guess, for everyone listening or watching this is understand that you're not alone, right? That you're, you are connected, whether you know it or not, right? <laughs> you're connected to something much bigger than you are. And if you reach out and you'll take a risk, you know, and put yourself out there, man, you're going to be, you're going to be blown away, not only by how the universe supports you and how your higher self is going to support you, but by what you yourself are capable of. You're just going to be floored at your capacity to really be the healer that you want to be in the world. So yeah, so those are my stories. You know, as you're talking, I'm thinking about how wonderful this new way of looking at things is in this world, because of how unique it is, meaning um, you really can leave some of the old understandings of how all this works behind. Uh, example, going to somebody and having somebody else fix you, so old, you know, giving your power away, so old. But that doesn't mean that connection can't help you find your own higher self. That's why I love your higher self work, because uh, what you are is like buoyed by other people and connection with them so that you can even, it's, it's like, you know, it helps you rise yeah. to connect to your own higher self. So doing some of this work, sometimes having an intuitive session or having a quantum healing session or going to a consciousness shift event, like the amazing thing that's going to happen in Sarasota will clarify and strengthen the connection that you will have with your own inner wisdom so that you become even more powerful and more able to do these kinds of things. It's not giving your power away. It's not mm -hmm. going to somebody and having them tell you what to do or how to do it or following certain steps. You become more confident in your own space, in your own life, in your own world. And it helps in everything. It helps in your life, your relationship, your work, your health, your body, all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love the, the idea of um, really stopping at this point, kind of, you know, in human evolution, right? We really have, I think, as a society globally, not only, you know, here in the States, but globally, I do think that, that people are accepting the fact that nobody's coming to save us. You know, you, you, <laughs> there's, there's like, no one's coming to save us, guys. Like, we, we really are the ones who are going to shift and help this planet move forward. You know, and you hear a lot about changing the world and I'm not really big into changing the, the world. I'm into improving the world, you know, because change doesn't always have to be a good thing. You know, I, I think our goal is to, our goal is to, Im, Im, to really improve the world. And the number one way that we improve it is by starting with going within and saying, okay, who am I really? Who do I want to be? And, you know, and by who I am, I mean, what is that highest expression? Who is my higher self? How do I, how do I develop a relationship with this divine aspect of who I am, right? Because that is a very real thing. There is a version of yourself that we are all called to become. So yeah, a consciousness shifting, like that, that idea is basically about shifting into that highest version of who you are. And here's what's so cool about that. And this is one of the things I love about my higher self work. You get to pick who that person is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get to pick. It's like nobody's going to come and tell you yeah. who you're, who, well, who am I? Like, well, who, I don't know. Who do you want to be? Who, who is it that you feel called to become? You know, do you even know? 
you get to consciously, you know, we all get to consciously create who that person is. So it really goes back to the whole, you know, we're the ones we're looking for. No one is going to come and give us the answers. It's right. up to us. And, and I think one of the beautiful ways, or at least I know in my life as a person, you know, as a, both personally and professionally, the way that makes that effortless and beautiful and filled with grace and ease is when we do it together. When we come together and say, okay, I'm willing to receive the help I need to empower myself to become the best version of myself I can be, not I'm going to go to this other person and they're going to fix me, yeah. right? That's the difference. That's what, that's what this work is all about. And I'm, I'm so grateful to you, Candice, because you're, um, so I'm on Candice's forum. It's, it's amazing. I'm on there listed as a practitioner, but also just as a person reading the stories from healers all over the world. And it is, so, it is so inspiring. It is so edifying because it helps me remember that I am not, I might feel alone here in Jacksonville beach, Florida, right? Like a pretty conservative town, love, got a little place at the beach. It's great. But sometimes I do feel lonely, but I jump on that director. I'm like, man, the world is on fire. There are so many people out there doing this. And it's my responsibility. I've got to take responsibility for myself to put myself in environments like that, whether it's virtual, right? Like on the forum, whether it's a Facebook group and especially live events, like getting out there and going and seeing, you know, it's a commitment. It's look, it's a commitment. I mean, I'm, I'm right there. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, really? I got to get my car, get on a plane. <laughs> yeah, you like you kind of do. If you, <laughs> if you, if you, you know, if you want, if you want that to happen for you. And it, so for me, it's about responsibility. I, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, Heather, are you worth it? Or are you just like, are you worth that trip? Are you worth that expenditure? Are you worth going to New York? It's like, yeah, I really, I really am. I really deserve to take care of myself in that way. And not only that, but I just, the world deserves to have that best version of myself, right? Like I want to show up in the world doing the best I can to help this place shine a little brighter. So um, yeah, I love that. It, like, please God, stop giving your power away because no one is going, no one is going to help you with that. At, at best, you'll, you'll piddle along in life, just kind of getting by. And at worst, you're going to be really taken advantage of, man, yeah. like really taken advantage of. And you're supposed to be the main actor of the, you're the star of your own show. You're not some side character, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's what I love about the, the work that we do in higher self. It makes that front and center. If you're doing higher self work, man, forget it. If you're, if you're getting connected with that, there's no way you're not putting your, being the star of your own show, right? It, it naturally affords that um, mentality or way of being in the world so yeah. my client yesterday was a really interesting person i won't go into too many details but i will tell you that she traveled the world looking for help including um seeing these shaman who ended up uh, all of them kind of firing her telling her they couldn't help her anymore and um she sort of gave up on even trying to help herself for a while because she even though she gave up on conventional means and then went to these, you know, these basically mm -hmm. shaman and partially because she felt a strong connection with an ancient life, and, you know, as a Mayan. So that was sort of some, she was kind of on the right track, but all these five shaman basically said, uh, you know, we, and she said, well, they helped me a little bit. They all sort of said, it, it, it's not, we're not able to finish this. You it just, you know, we're done with you. And so she came into my place and I'm listening to all of this. And I was talking about versions of herself too. She really had never thought about this idea, this very multidimensional mm. idea of all of these parallel lives. And I was saying, there is a version of you out there that doesn't have these issues, that has released all of this stuff, that there is a version of you out there. There are so many versions of you out there and you get to choose what version you want to be. So I gave her back the idea of the power coming from her and I'm like, look, I'm not doing anything. I'm just kind of pointing out what's, um, you know, what we can look at here, or what we can talk about, what we can think about. I'm kind of, you just using a flashlight, but I'm not in charge. You get to choose. And it was kind of astonishing what happened. Um, 
everything basically everything happened yesterday on a level that i'm still shaking my head at what happened i hope to be able to do a whole show about that at some point because it was astonishing i mean i've been doing this work almost 10 years and some of the, what happened yesterday i've never seen before and it was very physically obvious what happened and again it's too early to say details but oh my gosh and i have i mean i was we were jumping up and down like little kids um, this woman was born in like the late 40s and I was born in the early 60s. So we're not, you know, spring chickens, but we're like jumping up and down. And holding each other. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And it was like a party. We had a party, yeah. right? Yep. And it's a great party because it's like the solitary party because out she goes and, you know, if all goes well, she might send me emails or whatever, but I'll never see her again, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And what a strange thing that is to want that in a business model, if you are the kind of healer that hangs out a shingle. But that's who we are. We, we want to make that connection and then launch you. So here, that's such a beautiful story, Candice. And a couple of thoughts on that is, but, and you'll always be connected. Like, even if you never see her again, there is a connection there. And that is the beauty of, the, of quantum work, of quantum healing work. You two will forever be connected. And that's something that both of you get to have in your heart forever, right? So one, even if you never see him again, holy cow, that influence will be um, in your life forever. And the second thing is I love what you just said about uh, healing interventions should be brief. I, I kid with my clients and they're like, Oh God, you know, so, you know, we'll have a, 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 um, you know, an intuitive session and it's mind blowing. And they're like, I want to work with you. I want to do your become your higher self program or your into become an intuitive coach program. And um, they're like, Oh, is it like a year commitment? I'm like, no, it's like, you know, three or four months. Like if that, I don't know, maybe I'll have you out in six, eight weeks. Like, and they're like, really? And I'm like, yes, because when you work on the quantum level, you're not supposed to be doing like healing doesn't need to take forever guys. Like you've, you've heard the whole thing where, you know, you hire a therapist and Oh yeah, my therapist is great. Oh yeah. I've been seeing him for the last five years. She's awesome. I'm like, if, how, how is she awesome? If you've been there for five years, like in the very least, you need to just go find somebody else. that's gonna help you crap. Like, I don't know about you, but for me, yeah. Like we're supposed to step into that space remember our wholeness like you're saying point them back you're basically sitting there going hey remember that there's a version of you that doesn't have to put up with this shit you know like there's a version of you that doesn't have to live this way here she is might want to try that one on for size and then all a person has to do is go oh yeah i want to be that girl or that guy that does <laughs> yeah. this is not rocket science I mean, actually, ironically, it kind of is because it's quantum <laughs> physics. But yeah, but so it actually is kind of even more complicated than Newtonian. But, um, but, but it's easy. It it's, can be complicated, but simple. And in, in our application of following these processes, it doesn't, it's like, okay, I can be this and, and I can do it in a very short period of time. We can literally conquer a lifetime worth of blocks and fear and frustration and depression and anger and loneliness and solitude and, and, and not being able to forgive to peace, harmony, you know, within a matter of, God, it could even be an hour, an hour of your life or very brief, right? Couple of months tops, you're working with somebody who's really aligned and connected. That is why this is the future, Candace. And to everyone listening, if you're a healer right now, I want you to know that what you're doing is the future yes. and, and be, be brave and be bold in that. Be brave and bold in that. Because if you're not, who's gonna, who's right. gonna usher in, who's gonna usher in this new way of being in the world. So, you know, I, I think it's interesting to look at life in like through the his, like through timelines. So if, like at the early, at the turn of the, um, in the early 1900s, we went through an, an industrial revolution, right? We went from an agrarian model to an industrial model. Well, what I, why I feel this work that, that we're doing on the quantum level is so important is whether we realize this or not, we are moving from the industrial model to a cognitive model, to an energy-based model. We are about to make that shift, guys, whether we realize it or not. Yeah. And so we need people that are tuned in, that are tuned in, they're tapped in, 
They're engaged. They're not checking out. They're here. They're bold. They're brave. They're stepping up and they're saying, this is how we're going to heal in the future. So I, I'm just, I could talk about it forever. I'm so passionate about that. So if you're listening to this now, you know, know that it's, I always kid and say, it's not the 1700s anymore, man. Like have a voice. People aren't going to skewer you for it. And you do have a tribe. You have people that want to support you. And if you get in relationship and connection with them, you're going to find the help that you need to unleash the healer that you are and to be that, that, you know, highest version of, of you possible. So, um, God, I'm like counting down the days in October before we're like drum circling it on the beach. I can't wait. That's so great. You know, um, we're coming up to, to being out of time for the show, but I do want to mention something that you said too. And I, gosh, I love talking with you, Heather. It always feels so good. You've got such great energy. Um, yes, you will find your tribe. And sometimes people shrug their shoulders and go, look where I'm living. Well, yes and no. Start out by finding your tribe online. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I did. And when, um, and a lot of people do. And when you find your tribe online, it raises you and your vibration. And suddenly it's like this beacon and this beacon goes out and finds your tribe in real life. I found another person in my tribe last night in the tiny little town north of here while I was getting a little hotspot box to bring to my studio because I'm running out of data. And so there, I mean, I had to do that last night and, and she was like, well, what's the name of your business? And I'm being, you know, I'm just, and she, and she just glommed on. And she, I, this woman is, you know, the, the at t store tech woman. And she <laughs> out of her eyes, right? And she's like, I just didn't know there were people around you. And that was so amazing. So, uh, you know, you will find your tribe. You can start online and that will bring it to you in real life. And, uh, while I talk about tribe, I want to thank Julie Doré for showing up. She's, she makes a comment um, here on the show that we're all in different places in our journey. We still need the help of community. And it's mm. true. Even if you don't think there's anything wrong in your life, you will benefit by making those connections. Even if nothing's broken or wrong, you know, you just will thrive and you'll expand. And I want to mm -hmm. thank uh, Russell Wayne Evans also for uh, showing up. He's also a quantum healing practitioner along with Julie Doré. And um, Heather, you have a, a friend, Sharon Schultz, who says hello. Um, oh, hey, Sharon, how are you? You might want to wave, <laughs> you might wave to her. And um, yeah, so why don't you tell everyone, um, I mean, everyone can find you on our directory, of course, the quantumhealingpractitioners.com directory, but tell uh, everyone if they want to contact you uh, more precisely and directly, how they can find you and kind of what's going on with you right now. Uh, before sure. October, if anything is. Yeah, so you can find me on my website at www.heatheralliceshea, and that's S-H-E-A, dot com. So check out my website. When you go, um, if you put in your email, I'll send you over a free um, daily higher self-alignment meditation ritual. So one of the things I found in working with people is to just get like a nine minute, people need a, a way to meditate and connect in and feel that alignment with their higher self but they need to do it quick, right? Like life is crazy busy. So if you, um, you know, enter in your name and your email address, I'll shoot you over a free nine minute meditation Medi ritual. I start my morning with it every day. It's completely awesome. So check that out. Um, and if you're interested in, I've got a couple of online courses. So on my website, you can hit courses and you can kind of see what's there. Um, and if you're interested in having a private session, you know, really, if you've got something you want to kind of dig into, level up on in your life, I host one-on-one -on -one sessions for people. I will do those till the day I die. They are so much fun. It is like the most funnest thing ever in the whole, in the, ever. Like, I just love it forever. So I'm, I'm still always doing my private sessions. And then I have two ways that I'm really, you know, stepping into working with people right now. So one is through my Becoming Your Higher Self program, which Candice, you've uh, yes. taken. Yes, yeah. it's wonderful. So, yeah, so that one is all about helping you really uh, unlock your intuitive abilities and align. So I've identified six elements in our lives that we really need to address in order to um, align with our higher selves and just you know really overcome the BS that's holding you back and turn. So it's like getting rid of everything that doesn't serve you and turning up the volume on everything that does. So there's that. 
Um, and if you are a person who is interested in becoming a coach or a healer, like if that's something kind of on your mind and you don't know where to start, um, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying stepping in and doing that work too. And the way I'm teaching it is from a healing based approach. So this isn't, you know, start a business, make six to seven figures. This is let's be, let's get you into a place where you can express the, the healer that you were, that you're born to be doing it from using your intuitive abilities as a very powerful tool to help you become, you know, the best healer and coach that you can be. So both of those are on my website. And if you guys want to check that out, that'd be awesome. Super. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Heather. And see you thank in October. You. Yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone who's shown up live and watching this on the replay, both on Facebook. And uh, the archived version will also be available on YouTube. You can catch more live videos like this, interviews and other things, um, by liking and following our Quantum Healing and Beyond Facebook channel. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for the archives of these shows. And make sure you get your tickets for the Sarasota event being put on by Michelle Walling and yours truly. You can go to CosmicAwakeningShow.com backslash events to find uh, the ticket purchase page. Really, get your tickets. Um, the, this, this is going to sell out. And uh, I know it's a long time for October, but don't wait. Um, and to find a really perfect quantum healer near you or online, you can uh, always contact uh, someone on quantumhealingpractitioners.com, our directory. If you are a healer of any kind, uh, we are happy to list you. Come check us out there. And uh, thank you so much again, Heather. Many blessings you, for the day. And yeah. I'll see you uh, in a few weeks. All right. Bye. Bye and thanks again, Greg Prescott, for making all of this possible. Bye, everyone. Bye.